Okay, time for one last recipe. Earlier in the show, we uh, did this great Borzen stuffed cheeseburger with bacon wrapped around it. Is there any better pairing than a burger and a shake? What about this burger paired with a s'mores shake? Talk about a great pairing. So s'mores milkshakes or anything s'mores also very much on trend. Um, a lot of fancy chefs are taking the s'more and deconstructing it and coming up with these fancy desserts. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can do a s'mores milkshake with all those great flavors of the s'more at home. So it's your choice. You can either use vanilla or chocolate ice cream. Either one works perfect. Abby, my producer, likes it with vanilla, so we're going to do vanilla. I personally would do chocolate. If you want and you just have vanilla ice cream, you could just add some chocolate syrup to this. So we're going to load up our blender with about two cups of good quality vanilla ice cream. And it's fun to make shakes at home. A lot of restaurants don't do shakes anymore. Man, I grew up when the shake, you, you know, you would go out, even like the drugstores, you would go, my mom and I would go for lunch and you'd get a shake at the, at the drugstore and then they'd give you the tin with the whole rest of the shake in there. Remember those days, Ann? That's old, yeah. Oh, Greg said Dean's Ice Cream Downtown. Before my time. Yep, it was before my time too, Greg, but my mom and I used to go to places like that all the time. We'd go have lunch at, at the drugstore and get a shake or a soda or a vanilla Coke, a real vanilla Coke, you know, like with the, put the pumps of the vanilla in. Okay, so we've got our ice cream in here. We're gonna do about a quarter of a cup of Lamer's milk. We can always add a little bit more. So, s'more, gotta have some marshmallow. A couple things we're gonna do. We're gonna do some marshmallow fluff, and speaking of marshmallows, you can actually toast marshmallows in the oven. So we're gonna just throw those under the broiler, and Anne's gonna remind me not to over toast the marshmallows, and that's gonna go on top. But in the actual milkshake, we're also gonna do a few tablespoons, about three tablespoons of marshmallow whip, I guess you would say. Now we're going to give this baby a whirl. This is a really thick one, so we're going to add a little bit more lamer's milk. How fun when the kids, a lot of the kids, when they're going to be getting out of school soon, make this with them. Cook up some memories in that kitchen. Okay, now we've got the graham cracker. And sometimes you'll have a lot of broken pieces of graham cracker when you're making s'mores. You know, we always have lots of broken graham crackers. So besides graham cracker crusts, save those, put them in a little baggie, and they are going to be the perfect little garnish for our s'more shake. Let me check our toasted marshmallows. Ooh, they're perfect! Yay! My mom likes them really dark, so I didn't even leave them in there longer for her. Okay, so now, chocolate? wait, the chocolate's coming in. The chocolate is coming. All right, so we've got our basically our marshmallow flavored vanilla ice cream. And now we're gonna do our toasted marshmallow. Right on top, drizzle of chocolate. Some mini chocolate chips, or if you have some chocolate bar pieces, that would be fantastic. And then the crushed graham crackers on top. Abby, uh, my producer, great idea. You could drizzle the glass with chocolate too and then you kind of have chocolate stripes in there. So lots of the crunchy grams on top too. Yeah, how fun is that? Pairs perfectly with the summer burgers. Recipe for the s'more shake is on the website. Stay with us, we'll be right back.